Once you've set all the relevant parameter values, use the configuration matrix to route information to the input and output interfaces. However, before that, we're going to show you exactly which information needs routing. Pressing the F1 key should start the motor. The link between the function key and the start unit is the indication motor on. Using a logical function, we now need to link the individual conditions that lead to the switchover of the parameter groups. As input information, this function also requires the indication that the motor has been started. The result of the function decides the state of the indication set group bit 0 which, in turn, decides which of the two groups will be activated. If the indication is raised, group B is activated. If the indication is cleared, the system switches over to group A. In order to place information on the screen showing which group is currently active, we evaluate the state of indication group B. If this is pending, group B is active. However, if this is not pending, then, in our example at least, group A must be active. The easiest way to open the configuration matrix is to double-click Masking I.O. If you are doing this for a device for the first time, you will only see gray columns and rows. In theory, you could now use a menu command to show all the available information in one go. However, we recommend that you only show the information area that you need. In our case, this means that we really only want to see the information on the group switchover. This will be displayed if you double-click the relevant group button. Let's start with the requirement that we want an information text on the device display to indicate which group is active. To do this, route the Group B indication to the default display. Then you can edit it using the Display Editor. Right-click the Mutual cell for Information and Column D and select the X from the pop-up menu. In this group you will also find the Set Group Bit 0 information responsible for the switchover and since you want to link this with the output of the logical function, route this to the source CFC. We now need the indication motor on, however, we need to define this first. The best way to do it is to first create a new information group where you can store all your user-defined indications. This just provides a clearer overview for you and makes things more manageable. Now enter an indication of the type internal in this new group. This is easy to do, just drag the appropriate indication type from the information catalog and drop it onto the relevant group button. Now assign this new information the name Motor On. This indication is to be sent over the binary output B01 to the start unit of the motor as soon as the F1 function key is pressed. You therefore need to route this indication to F1 as the source. Use the Unlatched option to select B01 as the destination. You also need to route the indication to CFC as destination because it is needed to initialize the runtime of 10 seconds within our logical function. Now select the measured value view and check the routings for the three currents IA, IB and IC. Because the level of these currents is a criterion for the switchover, the respective measured values in the CFC editor must be available to our logical function as input information. In other words, all three currents must be routed to CFC as destination. If this is the case, you can now close the device matrix and save your changes.